Still to post. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about posting tweets. Am I live still? Jesus Christ. Hello? <laughs> Am I back? <laughs> Am I back? See, I'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah. That's my first time that crashed. Oh, thank God. Yeah, so as oh, I was you. saying, Chozo, um, this entire model you see complete with the jellyfish, uh, this was... Uh, Bunny charged me $15 for it. That's her. That was the price she did, but I made my manager give her like $26, you know, as a as a thank you, I was like, fucking pay her extra because she's underselling herself. <laughs> yeah, fifteen dollars. Yeah, and I, yeah, they must have ran into tech issues. I did, Bunny. I did. <laughs> I did. Um, I, it just decided, nah, nah, mate. <laughs> yeah, fifteen dollars. This was what the you're, price I was. I think you're still going through tech issues. Oh it's shit. Not loading them. Oh no! Let's make sure with chat. Chat, uh, can you y'all see us? Can you Is hear everything me? Looking good. Can you see me? <laughs> Let's make sure. Let's make sure. At least thirty-five. Yeah. Please tell me you guys can see me. I can see you, no problem. Can you hear okay, me? Okay. Okay. Thank God. Oh Jesus! No, they, they can see you. They can hear you. That might just be the glitches on my end here because it's not loading back on my end. Yeah. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, am I good? No, I no, I can't hear you, lol. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Rage. That's... Jesus Christ, Chozo. <laughs> I swear to God, sir. Jesus. He was doing it on purpose, that's why. Yeah, but yeah, um, I asked around as well, and a lot of people like, how much did you pay for, for this? And I, and I told them, uh, and I was like, I made sure my managers and shit, like, gave her extra money for this. Um, and, yes, I'm back, bunny. And even, like, people have said, like, they paid 40 to $50 for this piece. They were like, you got it for $15. I was like, I paid fucking extra for it. Because I was like, $15 for that? Like, <laughs> hell yeah, that, that's a bargain, especially if you're poor. But damn, don't undersell yourself. <laughs> Chills us like, $15 for this? What? <laughs> oh, Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. No, let me be a cocoon, for God's sake. The social butterfly. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. I am fucking gorgeous. Look at this man. He's beautiful. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? I do. I don't like being late to things. <laughs> I have no idea how this commission thing works, so I needed some help. And every extra thing should at least be 25 or 50% added. Mm-hmm. Like, a full color, definitely. Like, it, it ranges as well for your style. But like I said, Bunny, you send me some of your pieces over in my DMs, watermarked. I will do a a field test for you on my on my Twitter. And I will ask people, hey... How much would you be willing to pay for something like this? You know? And I'm trying to make sure, get you to understand. Like, an extra eye expression, 25 each. Something more substantial, 50 each. Mm-hmm. Yes, de definitely send me some stuff over. You know what? We're going early just because you said that. Yes, we're going early. We're going early. Mm-hmm. See, Choso knows this is a good model. I'm gonna be- Exactly, you're gonna be rich. <laughs> I'm now live again. Oh, <laughs> of course I'm now live again. Hey, maybe, hey, hey, if not, I'll tease this. Hey, Bunny, 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 if you want to, make Dad Zomi. Make Dad Zomi. Oh my god, I can't afford Dad <laughs> Zomi right now. <laughs> I've just spent oh. I've just spent money on paying um for my other PNG from intro, so like I can't afford shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm broke. Like I spent all my stream money on this stream, this PC. Either way, either way, in the end, is like they can make you that zombie and then be like, okay, I already have it ready. Here you go, and then <laughs> edit it until you can. <laughs> no, no, I couldn't do that because I I'd want it, and I was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Where are you on Discord? She's in my sh in my server, darling. She's in my server. You'll find her in there. <laughs> I'm giving Bunny ideas. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, you're in my server, darling. We're going early. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house <laughs> with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Ah, uh, yes. Indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Under my mama's wings, all crazy and protected, I will fight people for you. <laughs> I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. Oh, God, no. People. I set our veggie plate down on the table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I'm so excited. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking excited. <laughs> I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Oh, God, he's going to hug me. <laughs> get away. Ooh. Welcome! I'm so glad you two are here! Oh god. And you brought veggies! Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris. And the uh, my oldest. Okay. <laughs> wow, so <laughs> not one even view with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This <laughs> reminds me of a meme. <laughs> like literally is like I just cool man through the wall. Skin. <laughs> oh my god, he just hates his dad. I love it. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> oh god. This is Christian and Christy. These are the twins. Oh god. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, they look like the kids from the shining. <laughs> oh, they're in matching shit. They're in matching colors to their dad. Oh. <laughs> Why do I look at this and it gives me PTSD back to the code name Kids Next Door? Yes! Oh. <laughs> I can't. I will fight for you. No, it's 2023. Me having oh. a severe chest pain since I can't handle those of these existing kids. <laughs> They're my children. <laughs> I said, wait, didn't <laughs> Oh. They are. They stare creepily and say nothing. What do you mean? Oh, wait. God. What do you mean? Oh, I said wait, didn't I? Oh no. Oh. oh. Like we had to follow the storyline. This is where we got up to yesterday. I would have still gone to the barbecue just to see if we can meet someone else other than this guy. I. We still need to like talk to the mysterious guy we did see at the coffee shop. But like, uh, we gotta visit the coffee shop. We still yeah, gotta go on the prom. They're like the twins from The Shining and the kids from the village of the Dam combined. Like, oh, what is up with your eye? What is up with their, this eye specifically? It's just not. Uh, so why do these kids look like they're sleep deprived? I know, right? <laughs> they're my children. I was looking for them the past four years. I'm a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny's got like disturbed children. Thank you for bringing them up to me. <laughs> oh, they stare wait, creepily wait, wait. and say nothing. Wait, let me see if I can. Uh, if I find a sound redeem, I'm going so use it. Oh my god, they're probably sleep deprived. <laughs> Their dad looks like a pastel nightmare. I know. Look at him. He's Bro. grim. <laughs> oh. I. I cannot. Stand because this happened to me. Like there is a year and a half difference between me and my sister. But my mum had this thing. Buy them the exact same jumper, the exact same dress, the ex the amount of family photos I'd seen when we went abroad to Spain. There are two children wearing the exact same blue flowery dress, and it sickens me. I'm like. <laughs> why do we have to dress the same i'm a year and a half older even my sister couldn't understand it. it's like can we not have our own clothes the fact is well my sister was a tomboy growing up so like mm. she'd want to wear like her own type of stuff and then like i'd end up either getting the same stuff or she my sister would get the same stuff that i've got and i was like why are you doing this i don't want it it's like i don't want to walk around with like tracksuit bottoms on and my sister's like, I don't wear want to wear like nice flowy tops and like dresses. I'll post this on church. <laughs> I hate his dad. <laughs> I'll post this on Choo Choo. 
Well, I've I've um enticed chat to make a hype train for the new year, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Then of course there is our youngest, Chris. Chris. Oh, Chris. Why have you named your children all with C's? Right. Oh God. Where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in the crib. Mary. Oh no, Mary. Oh Jesus. Okay, I, I, at least at least I gotta say, wife looks a little bit nice. She looked a bit nice. Yeah, she 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 does look I like she's more paler, and as she's done with Joseph shit, but he has a wedding ring still attached though. So, hmm. She has a cross. Oh my god. Oh boy, this woman seems like she will literally look at you with a death stare. Oh, uh, I do like her like subtle makeup though. It looks good on her. Mm-hmm. Sir Circus, who is that woman? She looks like every possessed girl in a horror movie. Oh yes, this is Mary. <laughs> Joseph's wife. <laughs> I like her sweater. And how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? I love this sweater. This, this is a style I like. I like that. Yeah. Don't wear it like this. This is garbage. <laughs> Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Oh, she can smile. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to bed? Why would you name your child this? Jesus. I'll have to go look for him. What? You'll have to? Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Nozomi and his daughter Amanda. And a panda. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. Fucking priorities, lady. You go enjoy your wine. Like I said, she's done with her husband's shit. I think as well, like, the wedding rings for fucking show. Because if he's a fucking date option, you, you know, he he's, you know, I think se secretly home of, you know, gay, married to safe face, but it's fucking obvious, you know. I love her. Amanda Panda. That's right. Nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. I love her. Like, she's, like, I had never imagined somebody like her would marry this man. Like, Jesus. And have, like, multiple children with him. She looks good, though, for having popped out, like, what, four kids? Hmm? You know, she's had four kids with him. Mm -hmm. You're up, Circus. Oh. <laughs> My wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. I'll have to visit you in one of your streams on reality. I have not been on the app for a while. I will have to check that out. I I bet you we're gonna freaking meet Brian as well. Oh no! Because he's our neighbor too. Yep. Here, let me introduce you around. Bro, bro, when you say my wife, you should say it like birth. My wife. <laughs> oh. This is Robert. He lives across the way. Oh, hey, his name is oh. Robert. Oh, oh yes. From the coffee shop. Yes. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. Sir, yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna give this guy a pat. He looks good. My wife. <laughs> How are you gonna have him sound? Uh, let me let me fix my let me fix my mic. Hey. Oh my god, yes. Hey, I'm Nozomi. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Jumped. Oh my god. Nozomi and his daughter just moved in next door. Cool. <laughs> man of few words. <laughs> I can't with the accent. A disheveled man made of depression. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <"Jizzle."> <laughs> 
<gasps> if you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I get to get shit faced. <laughs> I told you not to call me Rob. No, he doesn't like you. Right, got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. It's fair. It's fucking Joseph. Not even he likes you, Joseph. <laughs> He's not really a people person. No, he just doesn't like you, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Oh, God. So Robert was the last one we just needed to meet. Yes. Oh my god. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs and Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Uh, I don't want to have to make friends. Mood. Mood. No, bruh. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? I will get a dog. Exactly. Don't call my name. We already talked don't about it. Don't call my name Roberto. Fucking yes, <laughs> Lady Gaga. Yes, I know what that song's from, that lyric. <laughs> but I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Yes, pleasantries make me die inside. I love all you guys, seriously, but, but you know, <laughs> it, it's super hard. Like, even if you meet me IRL, I will be extremely more polite than normal because I'm <laughs> freaking out inside. I'm like, oh, no, people... <laughs> You can hear inner nose of me scree. Oh! <laughs> Literally me. That's what I do every time I start stream, though. Like, you can't tell? Because she's super friendly. She's super, like, talkative. I talk when I'm nervous. So I, I work out very well. It's like, look at me. <laughs> Dad. Oh, they're going to talk about weather. Yes. Fucking, what I love fuck? this. <laughs> Go. Do it. Make a friend. I don't want to. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. Yeah. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. I will punch <laughs> a child. Good job, Amanda. I will punch a child. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. Don't do this to me. It's like, sh surely, just, you know, we, we can just make some food and leave. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around at the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee shop? Hello, sir! What a cool guy. And mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Fuck you, Brian! <laughs> Fuck you, Brian. No. I know this is my <laughs> usual type. This is this is my usual type at home. No. <laughs> Yeah, but he was trying to one-up us on his daughter, and his 10-year-old <laughs> daughter. You're like an engine. You have to keep going with the talkativeness, or you're going to stall and not move again. Mm -hmm. Let me punch the child. <laughs> Brian is deceptively <laughs> shaped like a friend. <laughs> Brian's a dick. <laughs> yeah. He's the number two dick. But I do but I do have to say, Nozomi, mean, you kind of walked into that one when you literally just used the Band-Aid on Amanda for no reason. <laughs> I know, I know. I thought it would heal up my HP. Hey. Isn't that the guy who's throwing a fit in dead goth and beyond? It's fucking Cap. <laughs> yeah, still. He's the one that I'm actually rooting for. Hey, 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 oh, hey. Da oh, damn. A Tumblr sexy man. Who, who's the dude in, with the black hair? This, this, uh, what was his name again? Who knows? Uh, I think it was uh, Lucian. No, yeah. Lucien was, I think, the kid or something, but I don't. I, I, I somewhere around there. Yeah, isn't that Amanda's teacher? And then there teacher? is Mr. Hugo. Mr. Hugo, Daddy, sorry. <laughs> well, Mr. Vega. Hey, I know Craig. Hey, Craig's here. I fucking love Craig. He's so cool. And he has his kid. Oh, <gasps> the kid is adorable. He has his little daughter, River. But wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac. That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Okay. Oh, oh. I oh, can't talk Robert's to with Brian. I can't talk to Robert because Brian's there. Talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Uh, oh, but Joseph's with Damien, so oh, burger time. I would go with Hugo and Craig. Let's go with Hugo and Craig. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can deal with that. Matt's there too, so he's the he's or, the cool chocolate act, man. Or, or we can still be anti-social and just go burger. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
All right. Brian is a no-go. Joseph's a no-go. So I'm pissed. Because yeah. they've got Robert and Damien there, and I, but I cannot stand those two. Yeah, okay. the characters that we kind of want, they're all with the people that we can't stand. We love Little Potato River. Yes, Potato River is amazing. We're going to go see Craig. More fucking river content. Let's go. Ah, yes. <sighs> oh, they're, with, um, they're also with the guy from the bar. Yeah, the, Matt. The coffee shop. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled Wait. in an intense discussion. Craig Don't looks on. Matt and Hugo look like brothers? They do. Very similar. Very. They could be. Yeah. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over and say hello. The baby is so out of place. He's like, I'm here. What's going on? <laughs> well, I don't think it's fair to try to compare two art movements like that. period in art only exists because there's unique byproduct of social and political climates of a time and place and to try to take something like that the rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in america you're completely disregarding the context in which work of art is created matt and hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me craig leans in Dude, I hope I have no idea what's happening. Talk to Craig. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. I turn my attention to Craig. He seems a little more attentive to my existence. <laughs> I'm alive. How'd resistance training go the other day? Great. Little River here is a great cheerleader. Aren't you, little tiny bro? Look at her. Craig grabs River's arms and waves them around. Oh, ah, face. Adorableness. <laughs> oh, yes. You can do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry for pooping on you. <laughs> <laughs> so a kid. Look at her tiny socks. I love it. She must be a handful at that age. Oh, they are. Nice. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves them around. He's just fucking too cute. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on your dad. Oh, throwing up on you, dad. He's talking like the baby. Yes. How are you settling in? Almost done. The new place is perfect. I never get too comfortable. I'll put almost done. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. Almost done. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled, but I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. I remember Nozomi used to carry me like that in the park. Uh, old <laughs> times, old memories, of course. We did, li we did livable through the entire year college. Yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing as a palate cleanser between different types of pizza. She still does, though. Hey, she takes after her dad. Rude. <laughs> hey, he uh, was with you in college. Old times, old memories. Say it in a French accent. Ah, <laughs> uh, old times, old memories. It's very hard to do the French accent, you know. I remember you stealing a baguette from the local market. That was a lot of money. You were a stupid child. <laughs> but I love you. You is the best daughter I could ever ask for. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I love you, which is great. So I say go with Craig because River... I but <laughs> Jesus Christ, bunny! SpongeBob narrator French accent. Ah, the ghoul lagoon. <laughs> That's one of the accents I do try to work on because I don't get to do very many French characters, to be honest. I always remind oh, myself oh, oh. of. I always remind myself of like Pepe Le Pew, the skunk from Looney Tunes. Oh my god, I used to love Pepe. Yes. Oh, Mon Chéri, how old are you? 
I know you can resist me. Like here, Come, my little let head. let me give you a kiss. Mwah. Let Mwah. me give you a smooth. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh God, I've gone French. Oh God. <laughs> you have the aroma of a rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, mommy. Yes. It's Hugo. Hello there, sir. That was me. How are you liking the neighborhood? Never go full French throwing cash on me aggressively. Please do. This is why I stream. To make money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the hose. Look at it. Is that hose time? Oh. Oh shit. Do I need do I need to get redeem the hose? It, redeem it. It's called water. Yeah, there's a there's a new redeem for that, Chozo. It's called there's Splash Zone. It's called Splash Zone. <laughs> That's why I put it in. What? Hose? Cool down. Do you not know what a hose is, Bunny? <laughs> I assume you don't know what a hose is. Here, let me let me just fucking redeem this. But this strange here. Let me fucking do this. <laughs> I always threaten people shrimping too hornily with a hose. <laughs> Carry one of these okay, around. Can you use that water redeem. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> a, ho a hose pipe is basically the long thing in the garden people use to water their plants. Hello, Bun Bun. How are you, sweet pea? Holy water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, can't. I can't with her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I told you Bun was just going to make it like that. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyway, oh, boy, oh. you killed me. She does. I fucking, I love it. Uh, th this is what happens when she doesn't go to sleep. It's just chaos. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> I know intensifies. that. I know that energy. That's um, that's how Vape gets when he's on a sugar rush. Oh God. Yeah, I call it gremlin mode. Gremlins. I I encourage gremlin mode because again that means you know biddies and stuff and hype trains and I'm like I am fucking imploring you. With babe, I fear it because him gremlin mode means that everybody has to suffer with him. Oh, it's all so right. He, he 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 literally just goes and annoys the living hell out of everybody that he knows. Mm. I I I live with gremlin energy, so it, I'm pretty used to it. Screeching in gremlin. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. I'm doing great, Bun Bun. Bun Bun's come to see a circus. Oh, and welcome back, Rage. What the fwe? What the fwe is this compliment? Next time you'll say your orc pilled or elfed up, shorty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gremlin mode is basically like when chat becomes gremlins, they're like, get loved on. And they just bring the chaotic energy that I'm here for, and I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Who you call it short? Buggy says hi. Oh, give Buggy lots of hellos and cuddles, Rage. Hugo's got a line. Oh, no, I already read that. Hmm. It's pretty nice. Everyone's been super friendly. I say with such glee on my face. Seems like your daughter is feeling just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. Okay. Sweetheart. Okay. She looks That's cool. His daughter. She looks cool. I like her. She yeah. I like she, the outfit. She looks really nice. She got like a little matching watch like her daddy. Look at that. Nice. That's cute. It oh, it's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Oh she got braces! She's super cute. I love <laughs> the hair. Well, only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Oh! Hey! That looks cool. It's adorable. Okay, I I'm liking him a bit more Am now. Am I cool now? I'm liking that a him a little bit more now because he, he does cute shit like this. 
No, and he was he was awkward the whole time when he was in the coffee shop. With yeah, us, so. the girl stares at him, thinking it over. Hmm. Nope. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Ha! <laughs> hey, Nozomi. This is my daughter. Hello. <laughs> I'm Carmen Sita. Oh my God! That's my aunt's name. That's my, that's my, Enjoy your my lyrics, mother's sweetie. side's name. I knew she was a little shit. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like her, too. Oh, that's, uh, I hope, it is. Oh I hope your chores are okay, Bun Bun. Oh, Bun Bun's got to do her chores. She looks cool, yeah, so but she's 100% a little shit. Just know it. If in Spanish, because that, that name sounds a little bit, like, because of the Cita. Yes. Sounds like a very Latina kid name. So it's Carmencita. Ah, okay, okay. But I thought she wouldn't be able to roll her R's that well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm Carmen Cita. I'm trying to go for like a little nasally as well, because she's got her braces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amanda comes over with Daisy in tow. Oh, God, not you again. That's fine. Kid hasn't done shit. Her father's the yes. shit. Yes. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Of course you are. That kid's probably drawn to your egg on your shirt. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. I mean, it's the most disgusting ass boy face. Hey, mamacita. Carmen is a Hispanic name, and when you like someone or their young slash small, you add the ito slash ita diminutive. I'm going to say egg. Hello, bestie. How are you, sweet pea? She's heard chaos, and she has arrived. <laughs> So to me, you're Nozomita. Oh, thank you, Chelso. That's so cute. <laughs> yes, um, my my daughter here is wearing an egg pin. Look at it and be ashamed, Bestie. I'm fucking exhausted. I have new redeems and stuff now, Bestie. I got like uh bitty sound redeems as well. I'm trying to get Hold my first. Down now. I know. I'm trying to get my first hype train of like 2023. <laughs> Long way off. better be making friends. I'm being outed by my daughter here. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your teacher. Nom, 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 nom. Oh. Hi, Mr. Vegeta. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Vegeta. Oh, yeah, Mr. No, Vega. Mr. Vegeta. Mr. Vega. <laughs> Oh goodness! I I I did. She came out. <laughs> I did the bad. No, the you're good. <laughs> Vegeta's out. Oh my goodness! Yes, Kakarot. <laughs> we need to get into this barbecue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh goodness. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna keep it now. I'm gonna actually give Mr. V Mr. Hugo Vegeta's voice. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. You still gotta get me that overdue turn pin. <laughs> yeah, great seeing you. Amanda finger guns her way out of the conversation like a champ. Hey, and leaves like a champ. <laughs> yes. Fun fact, in the Latin Spanish dub, Vegeta is constantly calling everyone damn insects. Yeah. Oh god. She learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very proud. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did it, my son go? <laughs> I love that line. Sweet Mancheo. Hugo looks around the party. He must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Ernest. <laughs> oh my god. Ernest Hemingway Vega. Are you smoking? <laughs> I love it. Wow. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and a fucking family cookout. <laughs> oh. Nope. I 
see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of his cigarette and flicks it into the gutter. <laughs> this kid's a dick. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. Uh, Excuse me. Hide the cigarette. <laughs> Jesus, that would burn. Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Andy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. I mean... Thank you, Ernest! <laughs> Thank you, Ernest! <laughs> Fucking... Fuck Joseph. Okay. Jesus Christ, not in that sense, but goddamn. <laughs> and the barbecue we had... Wow, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Joseph. He gets the bad end of the stick with this kid. I know. And then it spread into my lawn and burned down half my yard, too. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hugo walks back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind. Look at his little fucking mustache! <laughs> Why, for some reason, I saw this kid with devil horns? Oh, my God. I love it. Like, why, do you, why does he remind me of one of the kids from, uh, oh, uh, I, sp scary godmother. How dry does that fucking yard have to be to burn like that? I mean, if you live in the States, I've seen, like, how fucking brown y'all yards get. Yeah. Like, there used to be a friend I used to hang around with on, like, back when Skype was a thing. And he lived literally right next door to his mom's house. Like, um, like his mom's house lived next to their grandma's house. So he literally took his, like, laptop out of the house, took me a little walk across his little decks to his grandma's house to go make some tea and introduce me to his mom and shit. Cause, and I saw the state of their lawns and I was like, the fuck is that? Like, that is not green. As dry as my two shrunken lungs that lack hugs from no something. Oh, I'm sorry, Sweepy. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. Nozomi, this is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. <laughs> Silent treatment. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Elbows. From the general mustard. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> just, hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Ernest. Okay, okay. I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Eighth grade and he's smoking. Uh, yeah, good for you. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. I love him. <gasps> Ouch. What is your sound doing, bro? Mine? Yeah. Oh, that's my phone notifications. Oh, right. Okay. I was like, what is going on in my ear? That, that like an know, uncle of mine who is named Jehovah. Oh, my. <laughs> He gets to yell his oh name. <laughs> Ernest. Oh, yeah. Because I'm totally embarrassing you. Look at his fucking face. Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was, that was certainly something. This baby is traumatized. <laughs> oh. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Sorry. He's having a real tough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad. And he clearly resents me for it. Kids, right? I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher... That's about as authoritarian as you can get. 
honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be cool dads? I uh, have you know I am the coolest dad ever. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm cool as a cucumber. Fucking thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> See? Right there. You can't say that. Don't you don't you shit on my dad jokes. That's all I've got. My think my kid thinks I'm cool. You your kid farts and he thinks you're cool. <laughs> but for now, for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be cool dads? Uh I don't know. <laughs> Is it possible to be a cool dad? Looks a creak. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once raged against and accepted our fate to uh, unironically wear socks and sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you are doomed. Amanda's 18, and she still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter, Amanda, I'm cool, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. <laughs> as much as I as we all want it, I don't think it's an, impor an important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. <laughs> our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. That's true. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time where it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Don't let us eat up your time. Nozomi, go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. Oh shit, do I have to? Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Okay. You know what? You know what? I can stand Brian one more time. We'll do the lesser two. We'll do the lesser two of evils. I glance across the yard and notice Robert and Brian chatting over drinks. You're a dick, sir. <laughs> Burger time. Man, I don't want to deal with being one up by Brian right now, but I guess I could live with learning more about Robert. I am here for him! Fuck you, Brian! Oh no, they caught me staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. God damn. A validate from... Bunny Bay would like to be validated by you, Circus. Is that okay? Yeah, just a person appreciation from little for little bunny bay. You're, uh, you're all pronouns? late for tea. Can I know pronouns? Oh yeah, bunny bay, what are your pronouns, sweetie? And thank you, Rach, for the care package. I'm not a potato. Look, I, need, I need pronouns. I, I'm horrible with them, and if my alters don't get them, they will literally just slam anything that first comes into their mind. Oh, that's a nice stretch. Yes, Bunny Bay, what are your pronouns? I think for the most part, she does go by she, her. Yeah, she, her. She, her. Okay. Uh, well, Bunny, you are an amazing, amazing person. Honestly, I've been loving and laughing at everything that you've been putting on in these past two days. It has been funny. It is amazing energy, and you are an amazing artist as well. Because I love Nozomi's model. This looks amazing and well done. Like chef's kiss. <laughs> oh, bless! And don't forget to do your care package as well from Rach. Okay. Yes. Oh no! Brian's waving me over. God damn! <laughs> Who let this man in the sun? He will burn. Fine. Shoot. I flash a smile and walk over to them. Hey, guys. Oh, so me. How the heck are you? 
Settling into the neighborhood, all right? Oh, you betcha! Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50s in there. 50 the inch. game Oh, the 50 inch in there. The game looks great in high def. Wanting up. Oh, boy. Nozomi, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, we've met. Robert regards me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. Oh, Bunny's passed out at the end of the street in utter bashfulness. Oh, <laughs> bless her. We were just talking about my most recent camping trip. Spent a night out in the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. We definitely an outdoorsy one. Even caught her first fish. Wanting up. Oh. It's good to see you taking your daughter out like that. I bet she loves it. Oh, that face. Look oh, at look that at his face. face. He's so pretty. I, I, I'm i liking this dude. I'm liking yeah. this dude. He has, he has a nice side. It, it shows Aww. that he has a nice side on the inside. Confetti from Bunny. How oh, cute. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Mine loves being inside. Brian raises his eyebrows at me. Being inside, making art. She won a local competition for that art. Yep. Did I put it on too strongly? <laughs> Robert stares at me blankly for a second. Anyway. I haven't gone camping in years. Not since the last time. What happened same, last time? Same here. Well, things change once you have ki- Wait. What happened the last time? <laughs> well, just because I'm dead inside doesn't mean fire. I can't Ten admit is something fire. is nice. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Well, old Johnny Boy and me were out on the, on the back country. Johnny Boy is a strong kid. Met uh, met, him. I mean, uh, oh met. my god, I'm, I can't. Met him. Met, uh, met him in my army days. Come from Kansas. They built them tougher out there. Anyway, things go, go south pretty quick. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle when the rope bridge snaps. Oh. Oh, okay. You can see the bone popping out through the skin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just reading it hurts. Johnny Boy screaming right now, crying for his mama, using blood. We're two days out from the next living soul, and here I am with my dear friend bleeding out in front of me. Brian's fucking face. <laughs> Brian's got a face. Oh. I'm able to dress the wound, but now I got a fireman carry a six foot. 180 pound man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. I won't lie to you. There were moments during those two days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. But you, you built a bond with your brothers in arms. And that bond never breaks. I got that boy back to civilization, but I lost some of me up there. I guess that's camping for you. Ryan and I stare in disbelief. Robert takes another long sip of whiskey. I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went in her tubing down a river and he lost flip flop. Missed that kid. What a dick! Oh my god! Enjoy your food, Bunny Bay! I'm just kidding. Fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ryan and I laugh nervously. Jesus! <laughs> oh God! Or am I kidding? Oh my! God. I can't. Brian and I tense up I again. It. Brian's just gonna face. He likes to keep the tension up. Yes. I'm kidding. <laughs> Brian's face. Ew. <laughs> Amanda and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding a paper plate in front of her like a steering wheel. 
We gotta get off this haunted track. Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. But trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. Oh, then hit the brake, I guess. And then we'll get out of the truck. The imaginary truck. Anyway, we're safe from the ghosts. But how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. That is a like face. That is a like face. Look at her face. That's cold-blooded. I like it. Circus like whispers. I'm kidding. Knows me. Becomes cattle. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Although, I'm not sure I have the materials required to properly cook you. You know, that reminds me of the last time we went skiing. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Robert. Bro. Wait a second. Are you guys playing Long Haul Ice Road Paranormal Ghost Truckers? Oh, God damn, Brian likes our show. Yeah. Amanda and I love that show. Oh, God. It's the best. Especially that episode where Callum hides Flint's keys and... Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such quality real reality television. I don't watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy the shows that, and war documentaries. All right. Daisy, I found us a couple of bugs. They're going to make a great meal. Lots of protein. Going to keep us from starving out here in this harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over the... Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. You're 18, ma'am! Mm -hmm. a ten year old. Yeah, live a little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for a fire. Hey. Okay. Fucking arson. My child's the arsonist. Yeah. <laughs> but not an actual fire. Oh, thank God. You can get earnest for that. <laughs> because we're playing pretend. Yeah. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. My daughter is 18. <laughs> Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids their age. Hmm. Wait, it didn't you say she was 10? Yeah. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me all the time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. I will he's, die! He's redeeming. He's redeeming. He's redeeming. I will Go still ahead. die in a hole. My face still feels the pain of that frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> really? She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teacher says she spends her recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. I used to spend time in the library. It's a mood. Yeah. There it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people too. God damn it, what's wrong with my kids? <laughs> oh, <laughs> kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. That is true. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> oh, God. Well, oh, sorry. well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put something together. Wait. Oh, try to put together a little play date for her. Oh, God. They do seem to get along really well, but the thought of continuously hearing all about Brian's accomplishments is rough. Yeah, that'd be nice. Why'd I say that? Oh. Well, I don't want to take much of your time. 
go meet some of the other fellas. Oh, so you're forced to actually just go and oh, meet okay, the Oh, okay, okay. So it, it's a bit of an icebreaker to get to know which one we want to, like, maybe pursue a bit more. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. We're there for Damien. We're there for Damien. We gotta suck up Joseph. Not in that way. All right. Oh. I spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Goth and Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. So I'm curious. How can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Hmm. Where, where do I even start? The house stays warm in the winter. It provides an arctic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Oh, that is a vibe, sir. That is a vibe. Did he just- It's definitely an interesting choice. Did he just gag? A verb? I know, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, Joseph, I will punch you. Got a prick. Insult oh. my house and I will punch you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of my adult, uh, my abode. Nozomi, I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his aesthetic. Aesthetic. Thank you. Aesthetic design decisions. That's right. That's what I'm here for. I F help off, Joseph. <laughs> I help you with your hard words. It's fine. English is yeah, not for you. everyone. <laughs> English is not my main language. I am a Spanish boy. Yo hablo español. <laughs> Choso, he, Choso me entiende Choso understands me Make a sandwich Who wants one Give me sandwich I need food I mean I did eat food earlier But you know Oh god Damien regards me up and down With a warm but critical eye Hello Mr. Dooch hmm. How do you How you do I don't believe I've had the pleasure I think I saw you in Dead Gotham Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. Oh. Wow. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. And to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Gotham Beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. I have nuggets coming. Come over, mother. I'll make an entire buffet for you. Yes! Free food! Huh. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no, no such way for a gentleman to act. Oh, he's a gentleman! Oh! See? Rare qualities. These are rare qualities. Gentlemen do not exist no more. Oh... I mean, unless you're lying. <laughs> li yes. li lying, there, like, has got there's that. There's people and there's people, like, yes. Like, but gentlemen, see, is literally a dying race. Bony does not know how to cook. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. If I have to teach you to fry an egg like I did to my sister, I will be very saddened. Oh, goodness. It's okay, man. I mean... I'm a guy in a cat shirt, sir. <laughs> you tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. Very good. Ta very good taste of her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second. I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Hey, Amanda! Would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster with some normcore leanings. Bats are cool, though. I'm confusing my voices. Ah, oh, pity. Aizen has seen my very disturbing image of my attempt in making both. I need to see this, Bunny. How do you fuck up boiled eggs? Lost his appetite later on. 
Hello, hello. How is my dream daddy today? Hello, Snow Wolf, darling. I'm doing very well. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm so happy to see you again. We're looking through our lovely dads. Mm -hmm. We're at Joseph's barbecue, and we can't still stand Joseph. No, I is okay. I'm glad. Have you eaten today? Did you get some rest? I have to I have to message Snow in the mornings, my mornings. I'm like, have you gone to sleep yet? No. <laughs> I was like, oh, honey, I will tell you. Uh, Got up a bit ago. Probably going to oh, have boy. to go to my parents at some point. Ah, the joy of not having to see your parents. <laughs> I ate a block. Oh, oh, <laughs> an entire block of cheese. Yes, yes. okay. Snow Wolf, yes, 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 good job. Yes, you are me in, in mood. Oh my god. I Like, in Puerto Rico, you can get a whole cheese ball. Like, what? you can get a huge cheese ball. Yeah. I can end one of those things in one day. Why? Like, no How because big was cheese. the cheese? How big was this block of cheese? Uh, I'm concerned. Let, okay, so if I can give you a description. I'm going to show you the images. I've clicked after Bert cooking in the kitchen. I need to see your cooking attempt, bunny. I need to send you recipes. Jesus. Okay, it wasn't a whole block. It was what was left of it. Like, it had been a couple days since I started grating it, so I ate it. Fair. Mm. Nah, but I, I, you, I would eat the whole entire cheese ball. And you, you describing didn't... the size around, like, the size of a crystal ball. Oh, Oh, good jeez. <laughs> Why? Did you not, like, have anything else? Did you just eat I the did. cheese? No, I have crackers with it, but yes. It does... Oh, God, my stomach just, like, makes queasy <laughs> noises at the thought of that. So much fucking Mind you, cheese. I do pay for it every single time, but I am, I'm a mouse. I eat cheese like crazy. But oh, no. Cheese is, like, guilty pleasure. No, like, surprisingly, I don't eat much cheese. The most I do is, like, sometimes I'll put a bit of cheese spread on toast. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I'm not supposed to have cheese, but, like, I don't have it too often because I know what it does to me. I've had the most expensive cheese in the world, and then I woke up. <laughs> I'm going to actually eat actual supper <laughs> on the way to my parents, so it isn't super important I eat a whole meal. You could have had a piece of fruit, Snow. You could have had some fruit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cheese is not a fruit. <laughs> oh my god. You guys said your eating it's habits. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> like I don't mind. Hey, at least I'm eating. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't eat much, but like I so I still have Lion messaging me every morning going, Have you had breakfast, princess? And I'm like <laughs> I'm awake. I'm there like squinching at my phone going. I am awake. I will eat food. <laughs> Fruits, black bunny. Eat some fruit. Oh my god. Yeah, I am concerned for bunny's well being, I swear. How does she fuck up boiled eggs? Hey, 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 hey. I burned water. Oh, honey. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I made a stove catch fire with boiling water. Oh, god. Hello, Mr. Isaac Dooch. Come for a stroke. Little dooch. He's like, I'm a sleepy dooch. He's still not happy the fact that I've moved to a desk and he can't lie on me anymore when I'm streaming. I know. He used to like talking to everyone. He's just like, I'm sad now. <laughs> you gotta eat fruits. Oh my goodness. My my mum was supposed to like come visit me like a couple weeks ago and she just forgets and I'm just like, okay. I feel like Nosmi is the kind of mom who's gonna grab my hair and be like, Fucking <laughs> you little shit. Jesus Christ, no. I don't force kids to like eat food. I've been on the end of that. I'm concerned for my dear life. What I will do though is I just won't let you have candy after if you don't eat your vegetables. <laughs> I'm not gonna force you to eat them. But you have to make the choice. If you want if you want a treat or dessert after, you have to eat what's on your plate. No candies, no. <laughs> It's what I do at home. You know, I don't mind if you don't eat particularly a lot of stuff, but, like, eat your vegetables. <laughs> wow. Is your phone going off again? Wait, my phone went off? 
is your phone making notifications again? No. I have my bag of candies. <laughs> Joseph has a line. Are you enjoying the party so far? Who the fuck bonking me? <laughs> God damn it, Circus. Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Yes. Oh, hi, Shadow. How I'm are you, darling? Bunny, not you. Are you bonking bunny? Oh, <laughs> yes, I was I like, am. oh, that's good. I saw that. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming for you and your candy. You. Bunny's trying to take Rage's candy. Sleepy eyes. <laughs> You're gonna get bitten. I've oh. seen Rage fight for her candy. Oh, hi, Snow Wolf. You want your Yoshi noise? Okay. Yoshi. <laughs> there you go, Snow Wolf. <laughs> Can I drink in that? You can try if you want to. Yoshi! Oh my god, yes! Enjoy the serotonin. <laughs> Not many people can do the Yoshi noise, so that's cool. Nah, I used to love uh, doing a lot of Mario noises. Like, I, I, I did practice. Like, I honestly thought Mario. it was a sound redeem. I'm a voice actor, Snow. I do a bit of everything. <laughs> you don't want to hear Mr. Pinkerton. He's southern or shit. <laughs> I'm happy it wasn't. I'm good. Throws a grape candy at Bunny. I'm breathing on Mommy's Yoshi knives. Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness. Heal, oh. child. Heal. <laughs> <laughs> Heal, child. Oh, my God. But Bunny is just. Uh, I wish I was a VA. Oh, honey. I can always give you tips if you want, Snow. I can hook you up and stuff. I can I can put you in like I'm always like helping my manager f um scout for talent so I can help if you want. Catches the fucking grape in the air and lands it with style. <laughs> oh, definitely! Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Aren't you grateful I didn't do Dad Zomi in Mr. Pinkerton's voice? <laughs> Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like the Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Hey, Lost Boys was good. <laughs> Is your audio doing that thing again, bro? Mine? Yeah. What? what? In my most psychotic what? screaming, What's give me movie? more food. Oh, I think it might be that little glitch that I'm having with my mic. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're still trying to get a new mic and shit. Yeesh. Mr. Damien! <laughs> oh, he's got pretty eyes. <laughs> Circus, you gonna do Damien? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Where did he go? Two, three. Okay, finally okay. work. No, Hello. I'm here simping. Oh god. <laughs> I'm here shrimping. You're shrimping. Not gonna yeah, lie, like, that dude with silky uh, black hair is someone I'd simp for eternity. Yes, yeah, simping. That is it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damien Bloodmarch at your service. What a name. I know, right? Damien finishes the sentence Please? with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Oh, flowers too? Please, kill me, kill me. Oh, man, this man is going to kill me. Oh, God, calm the me. voice. <laughs> Poor buddy. Miss, and miss, calm your shit down. Hey, yo. <laughs> Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twins kid appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Oh, oh I'm going to have so much fun with his voice. Uh, hey! You need to add a reverb for these. I know. Sir, <laughs> respectfully, your voice is exquisite. I'm saying that out of respect. <laughs> Won't you come play with us? Uh, come play with us. Play with us forever. Forever. Wow. Daddy, yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you are enjoying those pity redeems. Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, yes. Daddy, no. <laughs> Guys, enough with the creepy twin stick. We've talked about this. Christian and Christy slowly back away. Where do you think they got that from? Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. Oh, uh, I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of wine. I think I might have taped over the v a Veggie Tales VHS with the Shining. Who knows? <laughs> she takes another okay. sip of her wine. <laughs> Where's Chris? Wasn't he with you? You had him a moment ago. He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. I have squeezed four little. Sweetheart. Would you do me the favor of please finding Chris? That'd be great. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. I want I want to slap Joseph. Just that attitude. <laughs> Mary. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. She's done with shit. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh my <laughs> god, he's freaking his son. Oh my Why god! Have to be this punk? Dad, can we go now? Ah, I have I introduced you to Nozomi yet? Hey, it's a punk oh, from Amanda's met. school. I oh god, they've met. Damn it! I remember you. Whatever. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Mr. Christiansen, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Coming right up, bud. Are you vegetarian? Yep. Makes that make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian era were vegetarians? They describe carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dad. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Oh, is he a sailor? Whoa, is that a tattoo? Wow. He's a seaman! <laughs> <laughs> I had to make that joke, I'm so sorry! Where can I play this game? I have a confession to make, y'all. What, what are you confessing, my child? Please come confess to daddy. <laughs> come sit on daddy's lap. <laughs> Tell me what you want for Christmas. <laughs> oh. Uh, yep. Wasn't always a young pastor, you know. Hello, cursed wolf king. How are you, pineapple sweetie? <laughs> Please, you too. What? What? What I do, Rage? <laughs> do you want to sit on my lap? Do you want to come sit on da Dad Zomi's lap? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so cool. Wanna see mine? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damien looks shook! <laughs> because maybe you didn't know. Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian! <laughs> I'm okay. 
okay. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh. His face. We'll is... talk about this later. That's oh. pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? Oh my god, don't ask that, Joseph! I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful thought, that number carries weight. Man, Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Cool. I forgive. I forgot what I wanted to confess. Thank you, sir. Cause God damn it! Now, now, now I'll never know bunny sin. God damn. And without further ado, let's work on some mad. Let's work some magic. Oh, it's got magic tricks. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. Hmm. I'd like <laughs> to show off. Okay, oh, okay. Bunny remembers her sin. Confess, child. You guys think this is my first time in front of the grill? He's working faster now. Effort 